Hello, and welcome back to the Stout Hollow Tales devlog. Stout Hollow Tales is a story-driven RPG being developed by a husband and wife team. You play somebody who has inherited an item shop from your parents, and you must restore it to its former glory. You can do this by interacting with the local guild masters, upgrading your shop, and customizing your character, all while leveling up and gaining new abilities. Something new to the devlogs you may have noticed is the b-roll that's playing right now. This is just some footage of me out fishing some local ponds, and I just wanted to include some of this footage so you could see some of the stuff I've been up to in real life. In the future I'll have similar footage playing at the beginning of every video while I explain what's going to be in the video and what the game's about. In this devlog, I'm going to be going over our cutscene system, which is fairly pivotal to our story. I'm going to be going over our writing, our process, how it's implemented into the game, and how important the writing is to the game, and whatever other random things I ramble on about. So let's get into it then. Here's a look at our cutscene script. Currently, it's pretty easy for us to create new cutscenes and set up all the actors that go into it. Currently, all of the text that the characters in the cutscene will say is held here. We could technically move all of this into an XML file, and that might be easier for future translations. The main difference for us between cutscenes and dialogue is that in cutscenes, the characters can move around and they can do emotes and stuff, whereas the dialogue's meant for characters just to be stationary, and you can also select different options in the dialogue, whereas the cutscenes, you cannot select various dialogue options. We wanted to be able to give the player a cinematic sort of experience while also having the feature on our end not be too uh, cumbersome and difficult to use and to create these cutscenes because there are quite a few of them. Here's a very sort of not detailed, everything is kind of fuzzy for a reason, so you can't read all the names of the, the quests, but this is a, a but this is all of the quests that we have in the game currently. This is just a flowchart showing how each one of these quests interacts with one another. And each one of the rectangular boxes here actually represents a single quest, but each one of those quests can have one or more cutscene and one or more dialogue option or conversation that you can interact with uh, associated with it. One of the quests actually has one dialogue option, one conversation piece available for every guild master in the game, and there's nine guild masters, so that single quest has nine unique conversations associated with it. And this is because some of the quests require the player to gather information about uh, something, something they don't know about. There's a mystery in Stout Hollow, and sometimes you're required to go around and ask people about the mystery in order to reveal a clue. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is the structure of our story. We're aiming to have a three-act structure in which we currently have almost everything written for the main part of the story for the first act. While we know the main story beats and what's going to happen in the second and the third act, we don't yet have the details of all the plot points in the second and the third act. So we know where the story is going and we know the story that we want to tell, but we don't yet quite know how to get there, which is a very typical writing process. And as a more minor thing, we have stuff related to the lore described in notes and item descriptions and stuff like that, which is more hidden in the world and also stuff like hidden cutscenes and hidden dialogue options that you really need to poke to find. That's it for this devlog. Make sure to check down below to see links to uh, the music that was used in this video, as well as all of our social and our Steam page as well. If you want to wishlist our game on Steam, that would help us out tremendously, of course. Anyway, hope everybody's doing well, and we'll see you in the next devlog.